to get access to the RAM in order to check it or to replace it is quite involved, requires several steps or pieces of hardware to take out. The first thing to take out is going to be the battery which is up here um, at the back. Then after that we're going to have to take out the hard disk drive which is here and it's got four screws here. Then we're going to need to take out the DVD drive which is here on this edge where my finger is and then we need to take off this plastic um, case. And because there are going to be quite a few screws, what I would suggest that you use is something like an egg box so that you can separate the different size screws out. It's just if you're more organized at this stage then when it comes to putting everything back it will be a far quicker and far less painful process. So there's my egg box. So to take the battery out it's two latches. There's a latch here and there's a latch here. So firstly what we're going to do is we're going to flip this latch which is on the left hand side all the way over to the left and then with the latch on the right hand side we're going to and with our finger underneath the battery we are going to take it take the latch over to the right and just the battery will flip out like so now let me see if I can take you around and show you um, many of these latitude E6320 they have a sim card which is right at the bottom here where my finger is. You can just see a sliver of white. Um, but you don't need to take that out um, to get to the RAM. So let me take it back round. And get it focused in again. So the hard disk drive is over here and you've got four screws one two three and four and we'll just take those out very quickly let's put them in our egg box which is just over there now you can see it's got like a lid uh, a lip on it and we just pull on that lip and the hard drive comes out next thing to do is the DVD drive over here and there is an eject button which is just here and you're just going to push it in sorry I'm getting ahead of myself. Before you do the eject button you've got a screw that's holding the DVD securely in place which is just here so let's just take this out whack it in our egg box in a separate compartment and then we can take the DVD drive it comes out like so. Now it just comes for the lid and there are eight so yes there are seven screws which are holding this base cover in place one two three four five six seven and they are all the same size which makes it really nice and easy. So let's just go ahead, take them out, put them in my egg box.
and there we go with the seventh. Now once these are all out, you just want to put your fingers underneath the space where the DVD tray used to be and the cover will just flip off, not as easily as that because there will be a couple of plastic catches but yeah just go round it and ease it off and there you go. We can really begin to see the innards of the E6320 and here are our two RAM slots and to take the RAM out all we're going to do is you can see that they're held in by these um, metal brackets, spring brackets so again with something plastic I'm just going to ease them away and then you can just take it out like that and then the one underneath the same ease the brackets away and here we go so let's So this is the RAM that it uses is PC3 10 600. And let's have a look at this. This should confirm it. Yeah, so it's what you're looking for is PC3 10 600 for replacement RAM.